What's up guys? Tonight I want to show you how to plant pearl weed. This is an awesome aquarium plant. It is a uh, it's super popular because of its non-CO2 carpeting effect. It is probably like the most popular uh non-CO2 uh plant in the hobby. But anyways, I want to show you some different ways on how I plant pearl weed and you know there's a uh, there's not many videos people talking about this. So I know it's somewhat of a simple topic, but I figured why not deep dive into it? Because we've been messing around with a lot of pearl weed here. I've heard this is a really hard plant to actually get a hold of right now. Uh, I'm rambling. Let's just uh, kind of deep dive into uh, me showing you how to plant this pearl weed. So here is some of our pearl weed in our 10 gallon aquarium rack system. Here's some right here. Um, essentially, this is a small, tiny little stem plant, and it's kind of known for its like coverage. I absolutely love this plant. Um, in my personal opinion, it'd be perfect for breeding like live bears. Um, I, I will be doing another video on like trying to get this plant a carpet because that seems to be super, super popular. Um, hey, whiskey, you want to be on video too? Yeah. Here's some more pearl weed. As you can see, we're doing the damn thing with the pearl weed. So I guess without further ado, I'm gonna show you my two best ways to plant this uh, plant. And I guess let's just get the tripod and just dive right into it. All right, so I'm messing around with the light here. Um, I'm trying to get a piece of pearl weed that we can kind of look at. Um, let's see here. I got this random piece right here give you guys a little close up here as you can tell this is just a tiny tiny little stem plant and some pieces are longer than others obviously it really is going to depend how you get it some suppliers will ship it to you in like bushels and they'll almost like it'll some i've even seen it like strung together with string but essentially what you want to do there's two ways to do this and i just dropped it on the ground um this is this is super annoying to plant if i'm being completely honest because it's such a fragile plant there's two ways to do this. You can plant this plant horizontal in the substrate like this, and it's going to kind of grow new growth um, in multiple different nodes, like through like runners through here. Or you can just plant it vertically, like as you as normal as you would think. And it we found that it's pretty hard to actually grow this or to plant this horizontal. Let me zoom here a little bit just so you can kind of see. Hey. Get out of here. Get out of your whiskey. I would highly advise that you get yourself like some tweezers because they are a lifesaver. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do if you're planting it vertical. It's literally that simple. If you're planting it horizontal, I would advise, sometimes just using your hand is a lot easier, if we're being honest, and just jamming it down there. Because I'll show you what happens here. All right, so here's the plant horizontal. See, it kind of, the plant kind of like curls in half, which is difficult. And what you want to do is just barely get it below the, the substrate. See, it just sits there and folds back and forth. It's super annoying. A lot of times what I wind up doing is just getting my hand in there. And that beta is just doing amazing now that we fed him some of that daphnia. No joke. All right, so what I do, see if I can get a good view of this, just literally kind of jam it down with your finger and I know it doesn't seem right and there's no like precision to it but what you want to do is just barely give it below the substrate and then it's gonna grow and like I said I'll be doing more videos on how to like do some more trimmings on this plant because yes this is a super popular carpeting plant pearl weed um, it just looks beautiful it's one of our favorite plants in the house right now and uh, you can just do so many things with it. What do you think, Whiskey? What do you think? Here's a corner. Uh, this is kind of like a bushel in this corner of the 10 gallon tank. It's just looking real sexy. Mixed with the micro sword here. So yeah, guys, um, let me know in the comment section if that helps you at all. I know it seems kind of basic, but um, I'm gonna be doing a entire series on how to like do everything when it comes to pearl weed, the aquarium plant. So it's an awesome plant. Um, it, it's a great non-CO2 plant, and that's why everyone loves it. So uh, without further ado, um, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. You can also check out my main channel, Palmer Aquatics. Um, it really helps. I'm also looking for new members to join to kind of help pay the electric bills around here. 
because it's getting to be kind of madness. So, all right, guys, hit me up in the comments. I love hearing from you.